Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon and welcome back to RuneScape. Um, I'm collecting the objects needed for... Uh, I'm collecting the objects needed for the, the balloon and I remembered that I can get... I remember where to get the papyrus. Um, I think I can get it from one of the shops in... Uh, one of the shops here in... Uh, in Karim, or in uh, Al Karid. I think I can get it from the sh Shanty Pass. Possibly. Um, if it's not that one, it might be the general store. But I think I can get I think I can get them here. Because their papyrus is made out of uh papyrus is often associated with Egypt stuff, and that often means that that kind of thing is this is where you'd get it. So I'm gonna check this shop. I'm gonna trade trade a shanti and see what's here. Uh papyrus no. You don't have papyrus. Okay. Um, let's try another shop here in town. Oh, you know what? Um, okay, first we're going to check the general store. And then I think there might be some... What's the guy that, uh, that sold me disguises and stuff? We'll try that. Okay, we're going to trade with the shopkeeper. Newcomer map. Yeah, that's not helpful. Uh, okay. I need... Where is he at? Is he over here? Farouk? Is it Farouk? No. Oh, you're the... Tulanomicon? No, it's Ali Morrison. Here we go. Papyrus! There we go. How many of those did I need? Three papyrus sheets. Well, that's easy. Let's buy three. Okay, cool. Um, and then I need sacks of potatoes. And I'm going to go talk to a farmer about that. Uh, Berthrop. There's farmers in Berthrop. Sack of potatoes. That'd be where I'd get them, right? From farmers? Wait, aren't there... There's, uh... There's farming shops too, aren't there? That you can get like seeds from? Maybe they have uh maybe they have potato sacks. I don't know why they'd have potato sacks though, that doesn't quite make sense. But it is what it is. Let's go Yeah, I'd normally catch that young impling, but I'm on a mission here. Trade trade with the farmer Jones? Potato. Oh, empty sack. Here we go. How many of these did I need? Uh, was it one sack of potatoes? One sack of potatoes. Okay, let's take this. Uh, let's buy one of those. How many potatoes do I need for a sack of potatoes? I can just <laughs> grab some of these here quick. And then I can take his one free potato. Phil. How many potatoes can a sack of potatoes hold? Uh... Can I help you with your farming troubles? Oh, I didn't know you had a voice. I'll take that raw potato. Phil. How many... How many fit in here? Okay. Why, why are potato... Why are a sack of potatoes important? Oh! Sacks of potatoes are important so you can carry them around without having- you can- You can- okay, I got it, never mind. I was gonna say, why would that be important, but I immediately- Because that means that you can run back and forth. Okay, ten. You can carry more without needing to, to do stuff. You can carry more without having to go back to your bank. That's when you're when you're farming for potatoes. That's or other probably other things too, but that's what that's for. And I feel if I feel like a dumb now. I think I have everything. Did I, did I, did I get it? Hold on, I should check before I try to go back. Yep. Okay, we got it. Cool. Is this the whole quest? Am I gonna, am I gonna finish this quest too and have two done in one day? That would be fantastic. Let's travel there. Okay, what do you got? 
Okay, let's skip that. I wouldn't mind finishing two quests in one day. Back when I started doing these, like, two que or one quest a day thing, I actually did finish several in one day. Just because they were so short. Alright. Uh, store logs. Uh, have you gotten the materials? Yes. Good! You have everything. Now, I need you to create an origami balloon. How do you make an origami balloon? First, you use papyrus and the ball of wool. The papyrus is folded into an origami box, and the yarn will support the heat source. Next, add the unlit candle in the balloon structure. It will act as the heat source. Once you've done that, let me know and we will begin our experiment. Use the ball of wool on the... Okay. Use the candle on the... No, use the candle on the balloon. Uh, okay, I've done that. I finished the origami balloon. Wonderful, I'll take that, and we'll conduct our first experiment. Oh. Yay, we did it! Look at that. Uh-oh. That was perfect. My hypothesis was right. Did you not see the burning? Oh, one more test. Then we shall proceed. Burning, fire... Hello? Huh, we shall meekly go. No, no, it needs to sound grander. We shall cautiously go. We're doomed. Is this guy supposed to be a parody of, uh... Of Star Trek Man? He does kinda... Hold on. I think he's supposed to be a parody of, um... Jean-Luc Picard. Possibly. Okay, so what was our spo what were we supposed to do now? Do you have the two sheets of papyrus and a full sack of potatoes? Yes, I have them here. Commendable. If I may have those, I will construct this experiment. I'm not doing a Jean-Luc Picard... Uh... Okay. Destroy the floating thing. <laughs> well, that went down like a lead balloon. <laughs> I thought I didn't know what a balloon was. All right. Those peasants, where did they come from? Ah, the flash mob phenomenon. Many have hypothesized that they are beings of great power sent to smite those who question the gods. And this isn't worrying because... Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm doing. Those experiments went extraordinarily well. Was I the only one who saw them burning? Burning. They were burning. Yes, very well indeed. We shall start the building the balloon that will carry us to the island. This task will be much greater than the last two. I hope you are prepared for it. This is madness. You need to get the following items. Yellow dye, red dye, ten pieces of silk, and a clay bowl. And eight sandbags. Sandbags can be made by getting empty sacks and filling them at the sand pit here on Antrena. However, there are other sand pits around the world that will work as well. There is one in Yanel, Relica, and Zenaris. You can bring the items back to me as you get them, while you are waiting for the tree to grow. What tree? I'm going to give you a willow sapling and a basket of apples. You must plant the willow tree sapling at a tree patch. If you give the basket of apples to the gardener near the tree patch, he will look after the tree while it grows. Don't lose the sapling. It took me a long time to save up enough. If you do, you have to pay me 3,000 coins for a new one. Once the tree is fully grown, cut 12 branches from it, using the sec to us. Bring the branches back here and use them on the metal frame on the platform to create the basket. Here you go. Be very careful not to lose it. Okay, great. I guess I have to, uh... I have to do that then. Um, where's a tree... Is the tree patch? Uh... That's a hops patch. You know what? Actually, I think I can... I think there's a tree patch... In... Catherby? This is the only place that in my this is the place in my brain that immediately thinks of tree patch. I think it's I think there's one there. Although I'm not entirely sure about that. I've never planted a tree before. <laughs> um It's a weird thing to say. Herb patch allotment flower herb no, that's not... That's not that. 
Where is there a tree patch at? Let me see. Um, I guess I can look this up. Where is there a tree patch? Uh, do, 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 do. uh, tree patches. Lumbridge. Oh, okay. There's one literally right there. All right. I, I, this is one of those things I've probably seen. I've probably seen them all over the place. They're just not something that I that registered in my brain because I don't use them. I have a lot of seeds, but I don't do a lot of farming. There's one literally just right here. Uh, I was also supposed to get what else now? I have already forgotten. Uh, ten pieces of silk. I can okay. Let's rake this. Um, inspect, guide, oh, that's it, okay, use a gust's sapling on the tree patch, and then I can, are you the, are you the person, pay a basket of apples, yes, that'd do nicely, sir, leave it, leave it with me, I'll make sure it grows for you, okay, cool, thanks, uh, I guess I have a plant pot now. So, I need to get silk, which I also believe I can buy from al Because there's a clothing shop there, yeah? I don't think I can get it from Ali Morrison. Unless it is Ali Morrison, but I think it's the guy across the, the way from him. How many silks did I need? Ten? Ten pieces of silk. Silk Trader. There we go. Uh, how much are they? Three gold pieces. Okay, sounds good. Oh, really? Do I need to... Alright, I guess I gotta do this. Where's a silk stall? Is there a silk stall in our down that I can do? Because this is... That would be much faster than this. <laughs> uh... I think there's a silk stall here. So let's uh, let's go do that. There is a silk stall here, right? I'm pretty sure. I know there's a fur stall. Um, and I know I. Okay, yeah, silk stalls. Okay, cool. Um, it looks like there's two of them. Can I steal from the silk stall? Am I that strong? Attempt to steal from. Any oh, cool. I guess I haven't done that here yet. Oh, I'm punching him to death. Okay, well, I guess I'm doing that. Yeah, because there's two silk stalls here. Okay. Cool. I've got some iron bolts. Fantastic. Oh, that's right. These are- these respawn real quick. Alright, let's, uh, do that. Yeah, this is this is much better. Also, I'm not spending money on it. But then again, it's only three gold pieces a piece. It's not a big deal. Um, is there a farming shop here? Oh, a knight. Cool. Oh, am I gonna not be able to fight you very easily? Well, I guess it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him up. I probably should have just grabbed a sword. Yeah, let's go do that. Actually, you know what? Um, I probably could just go over to this one. Oh, he can see me. Nope, never mind. I'm gonna go over here. Alright, I only need a few more, so I should be fine. There we go. Come on. Don't get any closer, guard. I only need two more. Okay, just one more. One more and we'll be fine. Don't move. Okay, cool. I got him. That's everything I needed there. Uh, whoop, that's the wardrobe button. 
Okay, yellow die, red die, one bowl, and eight sandbags. I have bowls, I think. And if I don't, I can get one because I have food. Okay, let's put those away. Um, and where's my... Where's my random... There's a bowl. Okay, there's a bowl. I don't have any dye. Uh, let's see. I can get dye from... Port Serum. Yeah. No? Wait. Yes. Because the witch in Port Serum does the dye jobs. Or is it the one in... Oh no, it's the witch in Drainer that does the dye jobs. I think? And then I have to get... You know what? I'm just gonna buy them. Because... I think I have to go collect objects to get those. Because I think I have to also bring her the ingredients to make the dye. So I, I think it'd be better if I just go buy it myself. Or if I go just buy it from the Grand Exchange. I think. Um, I could probably make it myself. But I don't know the ingredients off the top of my head. Uh, Alright, what else do I need? Oh, I, that's right. I need to get some... I need to get some... Uh, Sacks of sand. Sandbags. <laughs> sacks of sand. I guess technically that's what it is, isn't it? The sack, sack of sand. Alright. Let's, uh... Don't mind the snow. It's still December for me. For me right now. I'm time traveling. Uh, okay. Let's buy yellow. Wait. Make sure I know what I'm looking for. One red and one yellow. Got it. Buy, die, red die. Alright, let's buy that. Oh, is nobody selling red die? Oh, no. Yellow die. Buy one. I'm just gonna jack this up by a bunch. Okay. Someone, someone sold that. Red die. One. Let me jack this up to 10k. <laughs> Okay, cool. There we go. I got those. Uh, actually, I can just get bags here. Um, how much... How many do I need? Eight sandbags. Uh, well, actually, because I do have to wait for the tree to grow, I am gonna have to go to... I might as well just go to Taverly and buy the bags myself. And then take all the time to do that. I also need to get the sectors so that I can cut the I can cut the branches off and I can also get that at the at the the farming shop, I think. So I think everything I need is here. Uh let's trade with head farmer Jones. What you got for me? Um Okay, wait. How many oh I can't get the sectors here. Where do I get those from? Um, let's see. Eight sandbags. Alright. I need eight of your... Okay. Buy five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And then I might as well... I'm gonna check the tree in Lumbridge. And if it's not grown... Do I have sectors on my... Uh... On my belt? Maybe I do. On my tool belt. Ugh. Ooh, cracked my back. Alright, how much is my tree grown? Probably not a lot. Uh, inspect. This nearby gardener is looking after this patch for you. Do I have tools in here? I need to get those. Where can I get those? Exchange, talk to, teleport. Um, let me go get some sand while I'm while I'm here. The willow tree is. How long does it take this tree to grow? Uh, let's see. 
Use the, uh, The willow branches do not be cut from a willow tree. Wait, what? Okay, well, let me fill the sandbags here. Uh, with that. There we go. You know what? While I'm here, I might as well have him give me my... Give me my... What, 90-something sand? Cool. Cool. There we go. Fantastic. Um, so that's everything but the but the branches. Where do I get sectars from? Uh, willow branches. Sectars. Can be bought at all farming shops. Well, where's a farming? That, was that not... Uh, Taverly, uh, Cather, okay, let's see. Uh, Sarah's Farming, Sarah's Farming Shop in Falador, Vanessa's Farming Shop north of Catherby. All right, I'm just going to go to one of these farming shops and buy a Sectars, because apparently that guy just didn't have them. Oh, I forgot to see how long that thing was supposed to grow. Um... Farming. Four hours? Oh. Well, I guess that's gonna be the end of this quest. Because... I guess I'm gonna finish this quest at the beginning of the next episode, because that's gonna take a long time. Uh, alright. Let's trade... You can give me the sectars, right? There we go. Let's buy one pair of those. Okay, cool. Um... Willow branches. Great. Alright. So that I guess that's gonna take four hours, and that's more time than I have for this episode. Uh you know what? I'm gonna do this thing. The crop circle. I need to get my because I haven't <laughs> I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna put this stuff all in the bank here. And then I'll get it all back. Where's my net? Or did I get it? Did I just... Did I store it in there? Uh... Alright, well, I'm gonna teleport through there. And I guess I'm gonna do this minigame, because I haven't done it yet. And I keep saying I'm going to, but now I have a whole rest of this episode to do. Okay, cool. Here we go. Oh no, I'm being abducted! Alright. So, exchange, do I have my net here? Yeah, here we go. Butterfly net and impling jar. Okay, so here what we do is, uh, what exactly do we do here again? I know we search for, no, talk to. Hello, what is this place? It's my home, mundane human, you don't have that. What do you have in your pockets? Something tasty? Stay in my pockets. I don't have anything that you want. Do you have anything that you want? Of course I do. But you have something your things want. Eh? We want things you people want. They are tasty to us. The more you want them, the tastier they are. Uh, I've caught an impling. Don't do that. That'd be cruel. But chase us, yes. That is good. Implings are not easy to catch, especially ones with really tasty food. Alright, so... Talk to. Good day again. What can I do for you? Uh, can I trade jarred implings? That's right. Okay. Um, you get things for imp repellent, magic butterfly net, jar generator. Okay, that's that's right. Okay, so I have to push through the wheat. And then I can catch the implings like this. With the oh, wielding the net. That's right. <laughs> I like how I'm wielding my that's hilarious. Okay. So what okay, I need to let me let me check to see what I want to get here. So nope. Uh 
trade. Here we go. Okay, so I want to get these two things here. So what I want is four, four essence implings. Four essence implings. Two electric implings. Uh, one nature. And then I want three gourmet. Gourmet and two earth. Okay, so that'll give me everything that I want to get these objects. Okay, good to know. The thing is though, am I, am I strong enough to be able to catch all those things? Uh, let's see. I, I need four essence implings. I have one gourmet. Uh, I forget what the imp defenders do, but I remember that they do something. Okay. I might as well catch another gourmet because I need three of those. Come on. There we go. Got two of those. The essence impling, that's what I need. Okay, perfect. That's... I don't need the spirit impling. Let me get another essence impling. Baby, don't need that. There's an electric one. I need... Let me grab this. Perfect. And there's another gourmet impling. So there's the three gourmet implings that I need. Okay, perfect. Got those done. Uh, there's a nature one. I need one of those. Nope, get back over here. <laughs> of course. Okay, I don't remember what the imp defenders do, but I f they do something, and I forget what it is. Okay, there's the one nature impling that I need. Uh, electric impling. I need two of those. Oh, come on. Oh, it's way far away. Uh, essence imp- okay, that- it's kind of, well... Nope, okay, let me push through this. Hopefully it'll, uh, stay there while I'm trying to get through here. Okay, give me you. So the, uh, the whole thing actually- oh, perfect, perfect. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to get... Uh... Okay, electric impling. I have both of those. Now I need two earth and three more essence. Also, I got a green charm, so I, that's nice. Uh, where am I going? Nature essence. Give me that. Um, you know what? I'm gonna try to grab the two earth ones because I am running out of jars. And that'll get me at least one of the two things that I'm trying to get here. Oh, perfect. One more. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, give me you. Yes! I'm gonna do it! Also, there's no, um... There's no map here. It's literally just a black square. Earth impling, earth impling. Okay, there's both of those. And I got the one at, and... Okay. Those are done. Let me get... Alright, actually, I can go in there and... I need to get more jars anyway. So, I'm gonna need... Well, there's an essence impling. I might as well grab that while I'm here. Catch essence impling. Perfect. Alright, that's all the jars I've got. So, I can loot them also, which just give me things. Uh, let's push through here, and then I'm gonna ex trade, exchange. What do I? Okay, butterfly net, imp repellent. Can only get one. Uh, exchange. Nope, trade. That's right. All right, I can get this. Uh, confirm. There we go. So now I have a magic butterfly net. Can I put? Uh, okay, hold on. 
Can I put the magic butterfly nut in there? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, which means that I can just get rid of this one. To disassemble that. And I need more... Okay, nature, electric... Can I buy... Can I quick start? Guardia of hunting implementation is the main part of the... Uh, okay. Trade... Can I buy a few impling jars? There we go. That's the question I need. Can I buy a few impling jars? Okay, cool. Uh, let's buy... Might as well buy all of them. Okay, so I need... I just need three more essence implings, right? That's my... That's my next thing here. Okay, there's one. There's another one right there. So let me uh, push through the, the weed over here. Oh, there's one here too. Oh, come on. Oh wait, perfect. Got it. I just need one more. Give me... Yes, come here. Perfect. Or you could just go back to... Oh wait. No, good, 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 good. Or you could just not do that. You could stop running around, please. Okay. Hey, look at that. I got a level up. Uh, alright. So now that should get me the the jar thing. Hey, slayer level up, or hunter level up. Cool. Uh, let me trade for this now. And that should get me the, the this thing. There we go. Butterfly jar. Impling jar. Okay. Impling jar. You have 97 charges left. Okay, cool. So that just gives me gener that gives me stuff. And let's trade. I might as well get this one too. For the imp repellent. So I need three baby, two young, and one gourmet. Three baby. Two young and one gourmet. Got it. I might as well get all this stuff. So from here on out, any oh, did I have an extra essence? I must have. Um. So now I can loot these. There we go. See, I got a steam rune, and I can loot this one. And that got me some water runes. They just give you various random things. Okay. I got one baby. I need three of those. Is there anything over here? And another, I need another gourmet also. Uh, okay, there's a baby impling way out over there. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, come back. Okay, yeah. You stay there. Okay. Got the one gourmet. Uh, zombie, nature... Gourmet, baby. Okay, there's a baby there. Perfect. And then I need one more after that, and then two more little ones. Electric. Young. There we go. Young. Give me that. Oh, come on. Stop flying through there. Okay. Oh, baby. Yes. Okay, that's all three of the baby ones that I need. And then now I just need two young implings. Uh, young. There, there's one. Okay, that's within reasonable distance there. And then I got to keep my eye out for another young one. Nope. Stop moving. Okay, good. Here, come back here. Okay, one more. Oh, perfect. It spawned immediately next to that. Fantastic. Don't... Actually, it doesn't matter if it goes... Oh, it just closed. Okay, cool. We got all of that. I don't remember what the imps do. I remember that they do something, though, but I just don't remember what it is. Whoops. 100% whole wheat. Alright, let's, let's get that last... Uh, basically, it's a power bonus. 
uh, trade. And there we go. Smelly imp repellent. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. So, how does this work? Imps hate this stuff, can't say I blame them. Uh, check jar generator. How many- so how do I- how do I keep using this? Creates- okay. So, does the jar generator, um... Does the jar generator- do I have to get another one when it runs out of- Uh, or can I recharge it? Given with 100% charge, the creation of each inkling jar, 3% and 1% for butterfly jar. Create a maximum of 33 inkling jars or 100 butterfly jars. Uh... Okay. So... Okay. Alright. So I can just, uh... Oh! Tri uh... Let me go through here. So now, that basically just means that I... I now have all the upgrades. I'll have to make another... Impling jar... I'll have to make another jar generator at some point. Um, I do want to check, though... Uh, what the highest level impling that I can catch is. Impling hunting. Because I want to go directly for those, because those will give me the best, um... The best charms. Or the best, not charms, the best loot. Okay, let's see. So I am hunting level... What level am I? Hunting level 64. So I can get... Uh... Nature Impling is the best, for what I can get. Um, and then from up there I can get anything- I- I can almost get Magpie Implings. But I don't even see any of those in here. Does this place only spawn ones that I can collect? I don't know. Alright, but it looks like Nature Implings are the ones that I want to- to get because they're the highest on my list. Um, oh, whoops. I accidentally caught that. Oh, well. Nature. There we go. Then again, I guess they all give me different things. So if I'm looking for a specific object, that would probably be better for what I'm trying to do. Well, I might as well just catch stuff. We'll see what I get from these. Uh, young implings, I, young and baby, I kind of just want to ignore. Uh, because I know that they're not going to give me anything that's worth collecting. Give me that nature one. There we go. Loot. Uh, wild pie. Interesting. Uh, chaos rune. And a harlander seed. Actually, that's worth quite a bit, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Uh, let's see. Young. Nature. Electric. Earth. Wait, did I see? Did I say nature? Oh, magpie. There is one there. I need one more level up to be able to catch those, but can I catch them here without... Yeah, 65. Okay. Alright, so are these... Can you sell these? You can't... Oh my gosh, they're worth quite a bit. Ooh, that would be completely worth it. Okay. I could just collect impling jars and sell them. Um, I mean, it would take a while, but it would be worth a little bit. A little bit. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, how much are these worth? They're not worth that much. Oh, an Earth Tiara. I wonder if there's anything that's better... I wonder if there's anything better than what you can collect that's worth the price. But, you know what, either way, that's all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you like the episode, ring that bell if you like to see more. Good night, and I'm going to... I'm going to have the tree and be able to cut it down. Or cut the branches off the tree tomorrow. Bye-bye!